Hey everybody and welcome back to the Jedi Night's Watch. My name is Graham and today we have another Hot Toys figure unboxing and review. Now before we get going I want to invite you to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, be a part of the channel, support the channel and be a member of the watch and ring that bell so you don't miss any new content coming your way. Keep in mind as well that I've been doing live streams on Tuesday nights at 8.30 p.m. Central. It's really more of a hangout that I get to know you guys. You can get to know me a little bit more. So if you're around, come join us for that as well. It's a lot of fun. I'm super excited to do this video with you guys. I have been waiting three weeks for this Wonder Woman Golden Armor to come in the mail. And I was almost about to lose... All hope, I guess you could say, because the tracking had stopped for about six days. I didn't know where this thing was. And typically when I order from Tim Scent on eBay, it takes about two weeks to come. But I, I understand with COVID and everything, um, things are taking a little bit longer. But this thing took three full weeks to get here. I am excited that she's here. I am stoked. I can't wait. I know some other people have reviewed her already, but I have yet to see her with my own two eyes. And I can't wait to basically experience this with you guys. So, let's start by looking at the art box that she comes in. This is going to be the standard version. There is a deluxe version where the wings have the full span, but uh, I don't have the room, nor did I really want to take up that much real, real estate. So, I just got her with the folded in wings, and I'm actually pretty confident that I made the right choice there. So, on the front of the box, we have the Wonder Woman logo, and you can kind of see our Gal Gadot character in the cutout of the Wonder Woman logo on the bottom it says Wonder Woman 84 golden armor and this is going to be MMS 577 this was my first figure that I ever pre-ordered for Hot Toys with Sideshow and then obviously she got delayed I think twice she was supposed to come out I think quarter one of 2021 um, so she got delayed a few times and she's finally here I just decided to cancel my pre-order Get her on eBay and get her in as soon as possible because I need a Wonder Woman. My kids love Wonder Woman. I love Wonder Woman. And she's finally here. So I know I'm probably over the top excited, but I can't help it. Um, on the back of the box, we do have, you know, the creators and warnings and all the Lego mumble jumble. Um, we have Wonder Woman 84 on the top. The box itself is actually pretty desaturated, pretty boring. Too much light colors going on. I wish they would have balanced the colors out a little bit more with some darker colors to really make it pop. It just looks very, um, I guess, drained or desaturated. You know, if they would have made the majority of the box either black or like a really solid gold, and then maybe with black lettering, I think that would have really stood out a lot more than this does. It's, it, you know, the, the deluxe is actually a black box with gold. I think that looks a lot better. So I'm not a really big fan of this box. Luckily for me, the box means almost nothing. So, um, Let's flip it over and see what's inside. This is going to be a slip cover, which is one of my favorite types of art boxes out there. Just seems more sturdier and high end than like some of the Marvel boxes out there. Um, but when we remove that, we do have this kind of insert here that says Truth, Love and Justice Wonder Woman. You know, I, it would have been cooler, I think, if we got like an action pose of the figure itself. You know, more of an artistic photo, but you know, whatever, it's not a big deal either. And then when we remove that, we get our first look at the figure. And I am so hyped. This figure is probably going to be worth the wait from what I see right now. Super, super excited that this is my first Wonder Woman. Uh, I hope you guys are okay with me geeking out here because I am over the moon right now. So uh, before we get her out though, let's take a look at the base she comes with and the accessories. And here we have the base that our Wonder Woman figure comes with, and it's just going to be our, is it a hexagon? O octagon, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, hexagon style base. And I kind of like it. It's not over the top, it's not a diorama base, which is what I really like. But I do like this kind of portrait of her blended into the logo itself. And then you have all the Wonder Woman logos going on here as well. So it is kind of a cool design. And then on the front it just says Wonder Woman. Um, but pretty pretty standard, pretty basic base. And then it does come with this waist grabber, which is all right. I do wish it would have come with a dynamic stand, though, since, I mean, this is Wonder Woman 84 golden armor. You know, 
she should be flying around and whatnot, but I suppose Hot Toys was thinking, well, if you are getting the folded wings, she's not going to be doing much flying, so we're going to give you the waist grabber instead. But you could have her without the wings, and she could still be flying around fighting and whatnot. So I think either way, a Wonder Woman figure has to come with a dynamic pole, but uh, they decided not to do that, so I'm not sure if the Deluxe has that or not. So I'd have to check on that, but either way, that is kind of a letdown, but the base itself does look pretty good. Now let's take a look at the accessories. And here we have in front of us all the accessories that come with our Golden Armor Wonder Woman. We have a few extra pair of hands, the Golden Lasso, and then this extra piece that you can kind of put in her hands to make it look like she's kind of wrapping it up. We have the two helmet pieces here and the folded wings here as well. Now let's start with the hands. That's kind of the most uh, boring part in my opinion are the hands. I don't really like talking about them as much, but we have to because you out there need to know what you're getting. So we have two open hands. On the figure itself, we have two fisted hands. And then here we have, I'm guessing this hand is going to be for the lasso. But I would also think this one could be as well. So we'll have to figure that out. But it's interesting that you have the one kind of a gripping hand and then this one. I'm guessing this is for the lasso. I'm not sure what if this is just for the rope itself. But um, yeah, we'll figure that out. And then we do have just kind of an open hand here. Really cool uh, paint application for the gold. It's got a nice texture to it just to make it look like real wrap. So that looks actually pretty impressive. You can just see how it, the gold bounces off the light and the hands look good not much else to say about that they are female hands we have the lasso here which is just kind of a almost like a beat like a i don't know it's it doesn't feel very high quality but it's just kind of a golden little rope and then we do have this piece let's just see here how this works um so i think it would yeah just tuck here and here and then you know you could probably have this running through it as well and then it just looks like she's kind of got it she's spooling it in her hand here is whoa boy let's not chip the paint here here is the helmet itself and again just a really nice paint application and uh just a super super shine on it this thing is going to look awesome in the detox shelf because the light is going to just bounce off of it and it's going to look beautiful we have like the um, bird uh, I guess you'd call it beak here and almost like little eyes there on the uh, helmet itself and then on the inside they did do what I was hoping with like the Thanos where they put foam on the inside so that it doesn't mess the hair or you know scratch the head or anything like that but um, what I'm thinking is and I'm thinking this is going to be a pain this piece goes on and then you got to kind of fit this over it and finagle it so that it looks just right so we'll see how fun that's going to be and finally, we do have her folded in wings. Again, painted very nice. I love the golden color. And it just uh, goes into those pegs and locks right in. Let's see if we can do this. Maybe. And yeah, there you go. So, and then they, whoop, oh, oh boy. Let's see here. Plug that back in. And they do fold. And it does feel pretty tight and sturdy. So I don't expect that to be loose. And then that plugs into the back of the figure. Look at how the light just bounces off there. It looks great. All right. So those are the accessories that come with our Wonder Woman figure. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at Wonder Woman. All right. And here we have our first look at our Wonder Woman figure out of the box. And I got to say, she looks pretty amazing. I'm going to have to... Obviously play with the hair a little bit and get that to sit just right, but this is just her straight out of the box Unfortunately, I don't know if you can see it on the back, but the the midsection plate is like detached and I tried to glue it But it didn't really take to it. So you kind of have that ugly gap there Luckily, it's in the back and we won't really see it when we're posing the figure But it is still unfortunate and kind of like I talked about in my last live stream it is something you have to think about yeah if you go with sideshow you're probably gonna have to wait a bit longer but you are protected if something like this happens you can swap it out whereas buying overseas on eBay it's extremely hard and sometimes impossible to be able to you know return it so you're kind of stuck with a dud if you get a dud I wouldn't say she's a dud but that's definitely kind of frustrating outside of that 
The armor looks amazing. The underlining suit looks amazing as well. The head sculpt looks amazing. I don't feel like the camera does it justice, but let's get a closer look. Let's get her in hand and take a closer look here. And there is that head sculpt of Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman, Princess Diana. I think it looks great. I don't even mind that the eyes are a little bit off to the left. I don't even mind that it has rooted hair. The rooted hair is pretty good. It feels like there's like product in it, um, almost making it like easier to sculpt or, or mess around with. Yeah, you do have these strays here a little bit and we can kind of try to fix that as we go. But man, tell me that's not Gal Gadot. This one blows the older sculpts out of the water. And this is why I waited to get a Wonder Woman figure. I just never thought that the older figures looked like Gal Gadot at all. And this one, I definitely think looks great. Um, the neck looks a little short, but it's because of the collar. Uh, so, you know, that's just kind of something we're going to have to deal with. But overall, the paint application looks great. The paint application on the suit looks great. I would still be careful that it doesn't chip. And if we flip it over, here's what I'm talking about, where I have this gap. And see, we can... So that's very unfortunate and um, kind of bothersome, but it is what it is. This suit here, we have like, it's almost like a Spider-Man material or maybe Black Panther type. So, you know, I do think over time, if you're gonna leave her in these poses, this could, you know, become brittle or crack or tear. So just be careful of that. But yeah, this suit is amazing. I love the gold paint. She is gonna stand out on the shelf. This right here is material, but then going down here, I believe it's all like sculpted in. Uh, the patterns and everything and these plates are, are sculpted in so they're not going to like peel off or anything like that. And she just looks gorgeous. You got the gauntlets here. Nice silver contrast. Just kind of stand out a little bit more. And then we do have the boots. And she does have a split cut boot design. And some tilt there as well. I'd just be careful though. Like you can see some material kind of jamming into the peg hole there um, just be careful of that and she does have full tread on the boots as well that's pretty cool so hopefully you know she was a little bit hard to get the stand up but hopefully just having the split cut boot design helps but um, if you want to peg the wings in this piece right here just pops off oh and there it goes and then the Wings just peg right in there, so that's how that works. And do I dare to get the helmet on here? Man, I don't know. I almost want to do it off camera just because it's going to be a little bit easier. But basically, uh, I believe this piece sits here. Oh man, here we go. And then the helmet just kind of, so you got this like Thing that pegs right into there so oh boy this is really tough to do one-handed so I'm actually gonna do it off camera and then I'll show you what it looks like and here she is with the helmet on and that looks amazing guys this is a winner in my books this figure is stunning you know the back of the hair kind of looks it's a little messy when you get the helmet on but you're not gonna notice that it looks Awesome. Let me just make sure I got it got it on right here. And let's just take a look here at the posability of the figure. The neck has a, some movement, but I can look down a little bit. I think I got this helmet on, but it keeps kind of popping up. So hopefully it's, it's right. It looks okay. Arms almost to a 90. And they do have a double bend in the elbow, which is nice. Not a whole lot of movement in the abdomen, and I don't want to push it just because of this piece here, which really, really bothers me. So we'll have to work on that further, but... Legs, not a whole lot of movement in the... in the uh, legs themselves. Good double bend in the knee, though. Does feel like it's on ratchets. This is good. And then we talked about the split cut boot design. Which goes to about there. 
There is a swivel in the bicep and a little swivel in the thigh. All right, now let's get her into some poses and talk about some of the things that I like and dislike about the figure. All right, so now let's get the figure into some poses and talk about the things that I like about the figure and the things not so much. The first thing that I like about this figure is the head sculpt. We had high hopes when this thing came up for pre-order and I think it lived up to those high hopes. I know we all got worried when we saw the released images of the figure, but man, those photos don't do it justice. This video doesn't do it justice. You have to get the figure in hand to see how amazing it is. And I'm so glad that I didn't cancel my pre-order like a lot of people out there. I'm glad that I stuck with it because this figure is amazing. Doesn't matter if you don't like the movie, the figure is awesome and it's the best Wonder Woman we have to date. The second thing that I really like about the figure is the armor itself. The gold looks amazing and it, the light bounces off of it. I love how the legs, the plates are sculpted into the leg there so you don't have to worry about those falling off. I love the inside costume detail uh, and design of this costume. It's just really, really attractive and this figure just stands out wherever you have it. It's going to steal the show from the other figures on the shelf, and you're always going to notice this figure when you walk in the room. And the third thing that I like about the figure is that the wings are detachable, that the helmet comes off, so you can have different looks to Wonder Woman. You don't have to have her in the same exact look, and um, you can have her with the wings on, you can have her with the wings off, you can have her with the helmet on, you can have her with the helmet off, and she looks beautiful any way you pose her. Now for the things that I didn't like as much about the figure. The first would be that we got this waist grabber with our stand and it is atrocious. I don't know why we didn't get a dynamic stand with this one. I mean, I get it. We don't have the full open wingspan, but this is Wonder Woman. She's jumping, she's flying, she's in battle. We should have a dynamic stand with this figure and the fact that we don't is pretty ridiculous in my opinion and the way that this waist grabber works is terrible like you it's hard to get it around the waist and I'm really worried about scratching the paint and if you have the wings on well forget about it you're gonna have to take the wings off put her into the waist grabber and then put the wings on it's a mess and it's a hassle the second thing that I don't like about the figure is it's extremely finicky so I'm noticing like it's not the easiest to get the wings attached or pull them out. You really got to be careful and uh, getting the wrists on. The wrists seem to be wider than the gauntlets themselves, so you have to have it in just the right position. She doesn't stand very well at all on her own, which is a huge, huge down point for me because you all know I don't like to use my stands in my display. But she, I had a really hard time and um, I had to go to the stand because that was the only way I could get her to stand without falling and I don't want to risk scratching the paint. The one ankle peg seems to pop out just a little bit so if I bend it too much it kind of pops out. If you have the, the helmet on and then you take it off, the hair is extremely messy and now you have to futz with that again. So again, this is going to be a finicky figure. Um, there's not a whole lot of posability in the leg section because there's restrictions there plus she doesn't stand very well especially if you have the wings on so this one's gonna be more of like a set it and forget it figure for me and the third thing that I don't like about the figure and it's probably the biggest one is the defect that came with this one on the back plate how it's separated from where it should be there's a gap there I will try to glue it, but man, that's just really, really frustrating to, to see that from a brand new figure. Outside of that though, I still think this figure is a home run. I am still over the moon about it. The likeness is always the most important thing to me, and this is the best Gal Gadot Wonder Woman we've ever gotten, and I'm, I'm glad that I waited almost two years to add a Wonder Woman to my collection. I pegged this one because I knew it was the best. And I just didn't want to settle on those previous versions because I thought they looked too much like Barbies and I didn't see Gal Gadot in those figures. So this one I do, I'm super happy with it. It's probably not going to be posed a lot, but we're going to get into the pose that I like and just keep it there. All right, guys, well, let me know what you think of this video. Hope you liked it. Let me know what your favorite Wonder Woman Hot Toys figure is. 
If you're gonna get this one, if you're gonna hold off, maybe wait for the next one with the sculpted hair. I am gonna be getting both because I am a big Wonder Woman fan. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Join me on Tuesday nights for a live stream at 8.30 p.m. Central. Would love to hang out with you and get to know each and every one of you. But until next time, stay safe out there, and we'll see you soon.